WCBI coverage of the NCAA College World Series is brought to you by Bank First Financial, a better way to bank. OCH Regional Medical Center, Advanced Medicine, Compassionate Care. Evans Plumbing and AC Incorporated, it's hard to stop a train. Prestige Farms of Mississippi, 300 employees producing pork to feed the world. And count on Starkville Ford Lincoln whenever a dollar counts. The dogs have arrived. It is game day here in Omaha for Mississippi State. As no surprise, this town has been painted maroon and white. All of the fans lining the dog walk as Gary Henderson and Mississippi State Bulldogs have arrived here at TD Ameritrade Park. They look loose, they look excited. I think they're ready to roll now. When you mentioned the town is definitely painted blue and white, we went to some tailgates around before That's right, we did. before the first pitch, and uh, there has been no shortage of Mississippi State faithful around. There certainly hasn't been. Hey, welcome to Omaha, Tom Evel, Robbie Donahoe. It's game day, finally. Thank it feels goodness. like I mean we've been here two days, but it feels like we've we've been waiting a century to get this College World Series yes. started for Mississippi State. They're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer though, because North Carolina and Oregon State are just not playing in a timely fashion. They're in the ninth inning right now, and North Carolina has an eight to six lead on Oregon State at last check. Now, the Bulldogs were supposed to start at 7 p.m. It's probably gonna be closer to around 7.30 first pitch time be, uh, between MSU and Washington. But we've talked about the game enough. Just how are you feeling? Tonight. I feel great. Okay. I feel great. The it's weather's hot. great. It's hot. It's a little stuffy, sure. but we finally get to play baseball, and we that's really be. all that matters. We had some news of note today, by the way. Gary Henderson getting another national honor. Yeah, the National College Baseball Writers Association naming Gary Henderson the coach of the year. Yep. He's also the first interim coach to receive that honor. And so that's we believe the second of the year. That's yeah, and we believe he's the only interim head coach to take a team to Omaha, which yep. is just. Again, breaking barriers, what he's doing. But this is the first time we've been here in five years. The last time MSU was here, 2013, had a pretty good, darn good team making it to the National Championship Series. The lone holdover from that team that still is on this Mississippi State baseball program is Trevor Fitz. He's the director of baseball operations. He's sort of instilled a little knowledge and wisdom for this team going into tonight's game. Obviously, you'd expect it. So what does he think about being back in Omaha? Well, we talked to him, and you should hear it. We actually have video from 2013 when he was pitching in Omaha as well. It's incredible. I just keep thinking about the fun time we had here in 13, and I just really hope for the same experience for these guys and, and a little bit better, honestly, with those last couple games. But I think about all the fun things that go with it. I think about uh, the rallies that happen and the cool moments, diving catches, and how everybody should be soaking in as much as possible. The parallels these two teams seem to have, is it, they just seem to be endless. What, what is it about that between your two teams that just seems like you guys are almost mirror images? It's, I don't know, to be honest with you, I guess it's the magic of the maroon and white, to be <laughs> honest, but it's just one of those things where both teams had a fight and they just wouldn't quit and they're not scared of anybody. I think that's the main thing. Fitz has told us a lot about this place. It's, uh, it's, a, it's freaking awesome. Uh, you know, he just said to take it all in and, and be ready to play. He just said, you know, finish what we did. It. And, you know, that's cool that he could say something like that. I'm glad he's here being a part of us. And um, I think he's very, you know, happy that he's here again. And, uh, you know, he knows that we have everything it takes. When you're a player, it's very hard to understand. You may never come back and all that because, I mean, obviously everyone believes you'll be back every single, every single year. But then when you come back uh, in a coaching role or special, you know, assistant role, whatever, you realize how difficult it is to get here. And I just, the players need to understand that the fans from Nebraska and everybody, they embrace you when you embrace the city and everything like that. So I just, you know, remind them to go downtown into the village and have a good time, meet as many people as possible, and make sure you shake everybody in maroon and white and thank them for coming. I should mention that Trevor Fitz, by the way, is still team no undershirt. That was a thing back five years ago. This year, it's the rally banana. If you're anywhere around this ballpark, you're going to see a, yellow, lot yellow. a lot of yellow and a whole lot of yellow bananas around Omaha. So, we're done previewing this. We're ready to play. We are, and I've got a feeling if the Bulldogs pitch well tonight, we could be seeing a 1-0 Mississippi State heading into Monday. And we'll have to wait to see who they play right now. North Carolina yep. is still leading Oregon State, but... We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. So we hope you enjoy the game tonight. We will be back at 10 and recap the game for you tonight online on WCBI.com. Reporting live here in Omaha, Tom Ebel, Robbie Donahoe for WCBI Sports. Last look at your forecast next.